Okay guys, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We are going to start building a trailer to haul our small animals in like goats and pigs and stuff like that and sheep and things because we just really can't go and afford to go and buy a cattle trailer. So what we're doing is we're taking cattle panels and we're going to be building a, a system to set inside our 16 foot tr uh, regular trailer that we have to haul things on has a wooden floor in it so we're going to be building something to set inside that and we're going to take you on a journey of how we're doing it and what we've done was we took a 16 foot cattle panel we laid it down on the concrete here the cattle panels are 52 inches tall what i've done was on this end right here i came from this end up 52 inches and we marked a mark all the way across it we drove the tractor up on it and set the bucket down on it and we bent it up and took a sledgehammer and it made a real sharp bend in it so it makes a nice crease. We measured from the other end of the cattle panel 52 inches and we made our marks across it. And that's what you see right here now is I have the bucket drove up on it and the bucket is right on the line all the way across it. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a, a small two pound sledgehammer and I go along and tap that to kind of get the bend started. And you don't want to try to bend it all at once. By doing this, what you end up with is a real sharp crease uh, in your cattle panel. Now what we're fixing to do is we're going to lift the bucket up on the tractor and take this out and kind of show you what we're in the process of doing. Now that we've taken the pressure off, we're going to bring this out. What this will do right here is this will give you the two sides and the tops to the pin that we're going to be building. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to take another cattle panel and we're going to measure from this point here where it's bent to the bend on the other end and we're going to cut that cattle panel off and we're going to fasten it to this one temporarily till we can get it welded and that will give us a complete square cage of nothing but cattle panels. Now when we get through that point we're going to go back around the bottom and we're going to put two by sixes around the bottom of it, fastened to it, so that it gives the bottom a good structure and it's good and heavy. And then we're going to come in and we're going to actually cut a doorway in one end of it. And we're going to build us a door system so that when we load the animals in there, we can close it back off. And this will sit inside our big flatbed trailer so that we can haul our animals. And we'll take you along on this journey as we go. Okay, guys, I'm doing a temporary hookup here. I'm taking a little pipe clamp a little hose clamp I mean and I'm fastening these two together right here because we're eventually going to weld all this but right now I need some way to temporarily hold it out so I'm taking these little small hose clamps and I'm going to tighten this thing down not real tight but just this will kind of give me a little way for this thing to stay together Okay, we've got our bolt cutters here. We're going to use them to whack this thing off right here. Never been used before, so I got to check on, see how they are. These are completely brand new. Well, they're stiff.
All right. Okay, this one. We'll come back around to the other side. I think this is gonna work out just perfect. I'm gonna clamp this side and then we'll cut the other end. Okay guys, our plan on this end is to bend these uh, points that we have here, is bend them around to here. Um, we're gonna bend all the rest of them down. We'll do the same thing on both sides to stiffen this thing up. Okay guys, we're gonna use regular old fence staples. I'm gonna staple this uh, to the two by six that I'm putting on here so it will stay in place. That will help to hold it. I'll make sure this is down far enough. Okay guys, we've got the boards around the bottoms of this now. Get our doorway cut in the other end. We're gonna be putting some L brackets on the sides of this lumber here. What this is gonna do, we're gonna put them on this end and on the sides around there to fasten it to the bottom of our trailer. Now we have a trailer sitting down here. This is our 16 foot flatbed trailer sitting right here. It has a wood floor in it and has you know sides on it. I used to do a lot of mulch and hauling with bark and stuff like that with it. Well, we're going to set this pin up in that trailer and fasten it to the floor of it. That's what we're going to load our animals in to be able to take them to and from different locations. So next thing we got to do is figure out the door on this thing and get that kind of figured out. <laughs>
Okay guys, we've got the pen in the back of the trailer now. I want to kind of give you a little bit of a breakdown on what we've been doing. It's been pouring down raining for like two days. I've been having to work in the rain and uh, we can't put the cameras out in the rain and we're in a hurry to get this done. So let me share a few things with you about what we've been doing here. First of all, we've, we've got this system designed so that when we run an animal up in here, we're gonna have it where a door can slide down through a slot here. Now this is two pieces of angle iron that I've drilled holes in here and bolted them into this board here on the side. And what we've also done is at the bottom down here, there's a piece of angle iron at the bottom. This piece right here that this channel track sits down in. Right now all this stuff is just bolted together. We have these clamps that we've put on it to help hold the uh, all of it together till we get a welder in here and weld this thing in some of these places to uh, to hold it and we can take them back off but we don't have time right now to wait because we need to get an animal in this thing and I put a round steel rod here at the top because these sharp edges is here as an animal goes I don't want them ramming into these sharp edges so I got a smooth rod here they'll hit that before they catch these rough edges here and I may take my hand grinder and grind them off so they won't be quite so sharp but around on, I've got these clamps. Let me say that we put these clamps around the whole thing to hold it till we get the welding done. Now down here at the bottom, we're gonna be drilling some holes in this. We put these steel brackets. We're gonna drill some holes and we're gonna put lag bolts into the flooring of the trailer. We got four of them on here. There's one in the uh, back and front on each side there. That's going to help hold it to the trailer where nothing can pick it up or it won't slide around while we're moving. This right here actually comes out of the trailer. This is a, a board system I have on the back when I was hauling wood chips in this. This is going to come completely out. We put the animal in. We'll have a plywood door that's going to go down through these slots here. And once the animal's in there and the plywood's down, we'll stick this thing back in there just as extra precaution. We've got on the corners we have these clevises here on the corners. That's what we had our chain hook to, to help pick this thing up with. Uh, we have one on each corner. That made it a little bit easier to pick this thing up and move it around. Now this, we built this because we don't want to have to go buy a trailer. Every time we get ready to move uh, goats or maybe a small calf or something like that, if we want to buy one to take uh, and bring it here to raise it for beef, we want to be able to put a small calf in this thing this is more economical. I've got about $250 in this, and that's a whole lot cheaper than buying a cattle trailer for us right now. So this works for pigs, goats, sheep, calves, anything like that. And plus it allows us to keep our other trailer where we can take it out and still use it. That way one trailer serves two purposes here at Deep South Homestead. So we're gonna go build this door, get it in here, Get this thing bolted down to the floor of the trailer where we can start using. Okay guys, we got Frankie locked in there now and we're gonna see if we can't get him gone. Come on. 
You should be able to get him in. Nah. I got it. So how's all y'all doing? Well, yeah, they complaining today, all right. All right, as long as they complain. <laughs> you got a pen open ready for him? Yeah. Okay. So, huh, you're he open. He will round now. now. He will round now. I will. I got him by the leg, dragging him in. Get it up and you just stick this bolt back in and it goes all the way to the top. Come on, Frankie. Let's go.